quick tip on how to get more out of your Lomomatic 110 camera. So the biggest Achilles heel to this camera, in my opinion, is the fact that the exposure range, the shutter speeds, only go up to a 250th of a second. And it only has two f-stops, f2.8 and f5.6. What that means is that if you've got 100 speed film loaded in this camera on a full bright sunny day at f2.8, you are overexposing by five stops. And at f5.6, you are overexposing by three stops. And that's only gonna get worse if you're using 200 speed film or 400 speed film. So a way to dial that in to get better exposure is there's a company by the name of Colari and they make these adhesive mounts, it's semi-permanent, adhesive mounts, filter rings that you could put onto the front of the camera. Now this is the 40.5 millimeter size. It is in my opinion, the proper one for this camera. Um, it's very secure, but you could take it off if you wanted to. And it allowed me to mount a variable neutral density filter to the front of this camera. Now, if you remember, the meter for the camera is right next to the lens. So the meter is seeing through the filter and correcting for the exposure. And this is a one stop to five stop variable neutral density filter. So you can see here, that's one stop right there. You can see through it. And by the time I rotate it down, it's fully dark. That's a five stop adjustment. So on a bright sunny day, if I want to shoot F2, which I always do, and I want to shoot 100 speed film, which I almost always do, I just darken this ring all the way down and I shoot and it's perfect. And it, it's absolutely brilliant. And throughout the day, if it starts getting darker, I just open it up. At the very end, I'm only reducing the light by one stop. If I think that's a problem, I can always unscrew the filter and just have it go raw. But this also gives me the option of putting a yellow filter or a red filter or an orange filter on here. And once again, because the meter is right there, it's gonna meter through that filter. This is just about getting more control out of what I think is a really great creative tool. And this is an inexpensive way of really taking this camera to the next level. Thank you very much for listening. Now go shoot some film.